I think Roy's a, a maybe a back end of the top ten guy. I don't think you believe he's that good. No, I mean I I don't I don't believe he's bad. I just don't believe he's top ten. I think when you think of the top ten heavyweights in the world, I mean there's some pretty good ones there, you know. And I I just think size wise he's going to have an issue with you know you you know even though he weighs 263 pounds, imagine him against you know Brock Lesnar, Shane Carwin, right. you know the guys. But Kevin, are, Kevin, that's top four. Okay. I mean, we're talking. If we're talking, Joe Santos, uh, you know, keep going. I mean, the Noguera, Frank Mir. I mean, so now I've named seven. Um, I don't know. I'd like to see him against some, uh, an elite striker like a Dos Santos. I think that would be interesting. He yeah. might get his head knocked off, but he'd also test Dos Santos on the ground. You see what I'm saying? I think he, he he's at least in that mix. Say, so let's be a little, uh, you know, less bullish. Say like eight to thirteen. Yeah, I mean, I think if I put him between ten to fifteen. Maybe in that range, uh, you know. I'm trying to be nice here to uh, to Steve, but no, you know. I, I mean, I'm not totally down on Roy. I just, you know, kind of feel like, you, you know, I still want to see a little bit more out of out of what he can bring to the table. Uh, you know, I th I think he's got a good overall game. He's well rounded. You know, there's no area where he really lacks. You know, the one thing is a striker. You know, doesn't have that big reach. Um, and so when he's going in there, and, and I think, you know, going up at that highest level, I think he's also going to have, you know, when you talk the top tens, you know, uh, you're going to be talking, uh, you know, some guys with quickness and athletic ability too. And I think that uh, quickness, that side-to-side -side quickness might be an issue for him as well. I mean, here's a guy his size, but can you imagine him fighting, say, somebody like Todd Duffy, who's not an experienced guy, but a big, strong, massive guy who can hit? That's where I think he's going to have some matchup problems. So out of the show, anyone – you consider a prospect that you're really excited about because most of the reality seasons there's always somebody really excited about no um you know i was excited about uh big baby marcus jones but he has no chin i think if marcus you know if you could somehow give him a chin mm -hmm. i think he could turn into a decent fighter yeah. i really I do think, i think it's his hands too i mean as a guy who covers boxing yeah. you, you can't walk straight forward i mean he got an, the the final scenario i wrote it up i mean he's throwing a jab uh, out of a conventional stance, but it was actually a southpaw stance. So he's yeah. throwing his left as a jab, and he didn't know what, what way to stand, what foot no. to have forward. But, you know, I, I agree with that. I mean, you know, his striking is awful. But having said that, I mean, you can teach striking, and I think he's a good enough athlete that he could pick it up. He was better as a striker tonight than he was on the show. Yeah. You know, think of his striking against uh, Brendan Schaub. I, I think he could have picked that up. You know, you saw his athletic ability. I think he could have been okay. But you can't teach somebody a chin. He well, has And the other thing is... Does he want it anymore? I mean, he talked about quitting at 36 years old on the show, so maybe, you know, right now as we speak, we haven't talked to him, but he might be done. I think one of the reasons we like him in the media is because he's such a great interview and he's so emotional. And because he was emotional, he made those comments. You know, I never believed that on the show that he was going to retire. Now, maybe tonight, you know, he sits back and he thinks, I got knocked out twice in a row. Um, you know, his, he got dropped a few other times. You know, is my chin good enough? And I think he's going to have to do some soul searching. That's usually a problem. Very few people who have had, you know, problems with their chin uh, can, you know, overcome that. So, you know, unfortunately, you know, Mitrion shows me flashes, you know, and I thought tonight, you know, he looked a lot better, you mm -hmm. know, and I think he can be a decent heavyweight. I think he needs a lot of work, but, you know, he's got heavy hands. You know, I, I even thought in the fight against Junk, and I ripped it when it happened, you know, I thought he, you know, flamed out a lot, you know, lost his conditioning very early in the fight, but I saw some good things from him with his hands in that fight against an experienced fighter. So, you know, I, I think Mitrione can be decent. You know, I'm still not 100% sold on Brendan Schaub. You and I had talked uh, before, and you and I wasn't so, you know, so sure about him. And the rest of those guys, you know, um, that I just don't see. Madsen, you know, Wren. And Wren. And McSweeney. You don't like McSweeney as a heavyweight? See, I think McSweeney is athletic enough that if he sits down on his punches, he showed some strength on the ground at 235. He's 6'4". He is big enough. I, I, to me, that's what the heavyweight division's lacking across the board are those athletic crow cop types. Yeah, McSweeney, I mean, he, you know, he has some athletic ability, but, you know, I still think he'd be better at 205 because I think where he'd be more physically dominant, you know, where, you know, you're coming in there at uh, right now, I think there's too many 240, 260 pound heavyweights in the UFC that are athletic mm -hmm. for him to really to make a dent. Um, can he win a light heavyweight championship? No. I mean, I don't think he's at right. that level, but I think he could, you know, maybe make a little bit better run because he'd be more physically dominant. He's going to beat a lot of lower level guys if he goes into UFC. You know, he's kind of an aggravating guy. I'm not sure, you know. Uh, you he's, know. he's great for the promotion, isn't he? He's always gonna, someone's always going to have something uh, bad to write about him. Yeah. He's cocky. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you know, and, and he's uh, way too cocky for how good he is. I mean, you know, he's not nearly as good as he is cocky. And, uh, you know, that's not usually not a good thing. Right.